So welcome back to the Sekatsu channel again. So in the A to Z series of videos, we have now come to the letter R. And for R, there are many words to choose from, many concepts we could be talking about and describing. And I've chosen what on the surface is a very simple one. Resistance training. So R as in resistance training. Resistance training is probably the most common concept in, in any kind of training. Uh, it's done all the time by so many people. And many people probably think they understand what it is resistance training. So why even talk about it? But on the surface, it might be simple. But dig a little and you will find that it is more complex. It comes in many flavors. You can do it in different ways. It's used in rehabilitation, obviously. It's used by all of us who are doing any kind of movement whatsoever. Uh, and it's used by bodybuilders. It's used in uh, group training. It's used everywhere. Let's cover some basics first. Resistance training is, I guess, obviously, when one or more muscles or muscle groups in your body is moving against some external force. And it can be dynamic, as when you're moving your muscle against the resistance, or it can be static. Those are the two main divisions here. But you can divide it further. This can be further divided using three very fancy words, all starting with, with ISO. Isokinetic, isometric, and isotonic. But going deeper into what those three iso words means will be outside the scope of this video and we're gonna have to do it some other time. The primary goal of resistance training though is something we're going to cover here. So it can be improving muscle strength, obviously. It can be about improving muscle size, which is called hypertrophy, a word you probably know what it means. It can be to improve power and can be to improve muscle endurance. All of those things can be proved using resistance training. You gotta think a bit differently though about how to train when you're training these different aspects of your muscles. And here's something you probably didn't know. Increasing muscle strength and power depends on five factors five biochemical and physiological factors which we can stimulate with resistance training. And I'm going to read from this paper here because they are quite complex to remember, honestly. Uh, but they're interesting and they are recruitment of neighboring motor units, increased number of myofibrils, biochemical changes affecting the enzymes of energy metabolism, increased vascularization, and increased glycogen and protein storage in muscle. And if you know anything about strength training, you will know what this means probably. If not, I'm gonna have to cover that in another video later. So why do we even do resistance training? I mean, it's obvious perhaps when you go to the gym or for those of us who go to the gym, what we wanna do, what we want to accomplish, uh, for many anyway. But there are other, uh, other reasons as well. And we all really should be doing some kind of resistance training for basic health reasons. And apart from the obvious, improving muscle power and strength and endurance and size, um, there are other benefits as well. It can improve musculoskeletal health, it can improve muscle imbalances or correct muscle imbalances. And muscle mass also is important for other processes and functions in our, functions in our body. You may already know that muscle and muscle cells needs energy in rest so it burns energy it burns calories even when we rest so if you are interested in say losing weight or staying or becoming lean and fit i would say lean strike fit we don't know what that means really uh, great muscle mass is important or good muscle mass is important we also know that muscle mass actually helps combating other uh, other ailments maybe not as obvious, uh, like uh, Alzheimer's and that kind of disease. It helps also combat depression. So there are so many reasons for us all to train our muscles and having a good muscle mass, general health, as well as looking good. So again, doing resistance training is something we all should be doing and how we do it depends very much on who we are, our own personal needs. So if you like this video, 
if you found anything useful in it or in my other content, my other videos, please consider subscribing. Please consider sharing and liking this as well. I would appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Bye.